All right, let me blow your mind for 60 seconds. Imagine something that's not exactly a liquid, but definitely not a gas either. That's the wild world of supercritical fluids. So what are they? Essentially, when a substance is heated and pressurized beyond a critical point, bam, it enters a supercritical state where it behaves like both a liquid and a gas. It has the density of a liquid, but can expand to fill a container like a gas. Pretty crazy, right? Here's an example you might have heard of. Supercritical carbon dioxide. This stuff is a rock star in the tech and food industries. Ever had decaffeinated coffee? Yep, supercritical CO2 is often used to extract caffeine from coffee beans without using harmful solvents. It's eco-friendly and really efficient. Now, scientifically speaking, this state is explained through phase diagrams. You've got the temperature and pressure axis, and there's this point called the critical point. Above that, the liquid and gaseous phases merge into one continuous phase. No boiling, no condensation, just one freaky hybrid phase. But it's not just about coffee. Supercritical fluids are also being used in advanced engineering, like cleaning precision equipment, or even synthesizing nanoparticles. And here's the kicker. Scientists are exploring them for carbon capture systems to combat climate change. Imagine reducing CO2 emissions and using it more sustainably. So yeah, the chemistry here is super advanced, but it's also ridiculously useful in surprising ways. Hey, if you want to keep diving into wild science like this, hit subscribe on the HyperFocus channel. We've got short bursts and deep dives on physics, chemistry, and even killer philosophical debates.